Number five, we must expand access to advanced coursework for which credit is earned, not given. I think these days that I could not be more excited about the best work that's happening in advanced placement. And to give you an example of what's gone on, AP has gone from a program in which virtually no students were poor to a quarter of the students today. It used to be a small elite program, like let's own that. But over the last 20 years, it's transformed from 1.35 million students taking it to 2.7 million. Five million exams taken last year. Now, let's be candid, because we're in private. When you talk about expanding access, what does everyone think? That you're going to reduce the standard, right? In other words, it's almost like a nightclub. If they told you they're suddenly allowing everyone in, you would not think it might improve. <laughs> the velvet rope has its power in our imagination. So we expand access to advanced placement, and look what happens. Performance stays as strong with doubled access. Don't believe me. Believe Nat Malkus from AEI, from the American Enterprise Institute, who did an independent study. He called it the happiest education story of the American century, that the radical expansion of advancement in advanced placement had in no way diluted the standards of advanced placement. He did separate work tying the results to NAEP to show there is no diminution in AP standards. And under my leadership and forevermore, this college board shall never water down the standards of advanced placement. Because when you earn an advanced placement credit, you are saying, and we can prove, that you're ready to take an advanced course in that discipline. I will say I'm a super huge fan, for example, of early college and dual credit opportunities to get students the experience of college. But something I, I am worried about in candor is that 97% of students get credit from those experiences versus 57% with advanced placement. And that may be great news if we are giving out credit, but I think it is the earning of it that changes you. It is actually doing college level work. I fear debt without degree. I fear students who are told they're college ready dishonestly. Number six, we cannot bypass rural communities any longer when expanding advanced placement. We can no longer allow economies of scale to neglect rural America. Let me put this to you very bluntly. The excuse for all of us is the classrooms are too small. There's no AP there. Once again, it may not be our fault, but it most certainly is our problem. And I will not participate in the lie that providing virtual instruction is enough for rural students. That is, without a trained adult or coach, you see, the, the trained person is the recruiter Teachers or a coach is the person who says to a kid that didn't believe in themselves, hey, you should try advanced placement. You can do it. If you just rely on virtual alone, virtual is an essential part of the solution, but a caring adult, a caring mentor is always essential in inspiring young people to learn. The College Board declares that it shall invest over the next five years in whatever rural school it needs to, that wants to join us in advanced placement, whatever the cost to us because we are a nonprofit organization and that is our commitment.